you're looking for help with content writing but can't afford to hire a full team, Content Shake AI may be just what you need. It's a smart writing tool that combines AI with real search data and competitor analysis. It helps you create engaging, SEO-friendly blog posts in your brand's voice that are optimized for traffic and engagement. Anyone can use Content Shake AI. It doesn't require any special skills and it's really easy to use. It's great for small teams and entrepreneurs, and it's really great if you're just one person trying to do everything for your business. Content Shake AI is made by SEMrush, which is my favorite SEO tool. I use it for all of my websites and my client websites, and I am very grateful today that SEMrush is sponsoring this video. So let's talk pricing. When you click the link in my description below, you're going to get to this page. And yes, there is a free trial. That's why we have that button that says try it free. But let's talk about the pricing if you do decide to purchase. So just go ahead and scroll down to the page and you're going to see this section. So if you do decide to purchase, it is $60 a month and it includes all of this stuff here and you do not need to have SEMrush Pro to use it, though I'm also a big fan of SEMrush Pro. I'm gonna go more into all of these features later on in the video, but for now I wanna talk about if you already have ChatGPT and you're already using ChatGPT for content creation, is this worth it for you to upgrade? Content Shake AI actually uses the same open eye technology that ChatGPT uses. It just has additional features that specifically help you write SEO friendly blog content. Some things it does that ChatGPT cannot is that it creates content that is specifically optimized for your target keywords and in your preferred region. The topic suggestions Content Shake AI gives you are specifically made to get you more traffic because they're backed by real search data. ChatGPT just doesn't have access to that kind of information. It can also structure your content to match search intent, and you can publish directly to WordPress with one click. So if you already have ChatGPT, you're probably already paying $20 a month for it. So let's figure out if it's worth it for you to spend that extra $40 a month for these additional SEO features. So I'm gonna log into my account to show you this stuff. So if you wanna follow along with me, you can just click that start your seven day free trial button right here, and we'll get started. Here I am in my account and to get to Content Shake AI, we are going to scroll down and go to Content Marketing and then click into Content Shake AI. It's gonna bring you to this setup wizard. Let's just go ahead and select or keep selected, generate article with AI and then click let's start. And now here we are. Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and set our brand voice. Now with ChatGPT, you can tell it to do a different tone of voice depending on the prompts you give it, but Content Shake AI takes that a little further. Here we can set the unique personality and tone of our company and then easily apply that to the content we write. Your brand voice should be consistent across all platforms and this is a really easy way to make sure that happens. So to create a brand voice, go ahead and click brand voice in the left right here. And then we're going to click the create brand voice button on the right. And now we can add in some content that sounds like you. So a good idea of what to put here could be your about page for your business, blog post that you wrote and like, somebody else's blog post that you really like the tone of and how they speak to the user, or you can just start writing stuff on your own, like a stream of conscious thing, just so it can get an idea of your voice. You just want to make sure you get at least 200 words in here. Okay. So I just posted in one of my most popular blog posts, and then I'm going to click the create brand voice button. We're going to give this a little bit of time to work. And then after that's done, something like this should pop up. Now this is going to talk about who you are. And if you like that, you can leave this, but if you want to make some adjustments, you can click the edit icon right there and you can make changes to your description if you'd like, or your occupation. And you can also change your avatar. Let me change my avatar because this does not look like me. Okay. None of these avatars look exactly like me. So we're just going to go with the cat because cats like to explore, right? So we're going to select the cat and then we're going to go to done. You can also change the tone here if you'd like, and you can change the readability level. 
And if you scroll down, you can also choose your audience. Here you can pick a persona if you want. Now, a persona is basically the same thing as a customer avatar if you made one of those for your marketing strategy, which is basically you just take one of your target market people and you make them into an avatar. So let's go ahead and edit into this guy that is budget, budget traveler. And let's change him instead to Fort Lauderdale local, which like, to be honest, there's a lot of frogs here. So this fits. And the problem can be that he lives here and he lives in paradise, but he doesn't ever get to have fun with it where he lives. Okay, done. We got the problem. Now for the goal, let's make the goal that he wants to go ahead and enjoy his home and see everything it has to offer and really like get to experience what people come here to vacation to experience. Oh, also another problem can be that he doesn't really know what's going on or what to do. Know what's going on or what to do. Okay. So that's done. And when we're done with the persona, you can click done. So now when you are using this brand voice, it will set to that persona and it will talk as if it's talking to the Fort Lauderdale local, this little frog guy. You can also click to use a wide audience if you don't want to use a persona, but then your message might not feel as special to Mr. Frog Guy. So we're just going to continue to select the Fort Lauderdale local frog because that is who I want to talk to. And then we can scroll down and see the voice samples and see the difference between what it's going to sound like in your brand voice and what it sounds like without your brand voice. And I really like this. I'm really impressed with this. This already sounds uh, more like me, more natural and more focused on my target audience than ChatGPT does. So when this is done, I'm going to keep it selected that this is going to be the default voice across all content. And then I'm going to click save changes. And now that is done and on the list. And remember, you can create multiple brand voices for multiple brands and different reasons or content or whatever you need it for. Next, let's go ahead and find some topics for our blog post. So we're going to go ahead and click topic finder in the top left. And then we want to put in a high level topic that we want to talk about. I'm going to put in things to do in Fort Lauderdale, and I am going to keep my audience location as the United States because that's where my audience is. And then I'm going to click this find topics button. Now this might take a little bit to work, so give it some time. And when that's all done, you're going to come to a page that looks like this. And now from here, you can see all the different topics it suggests. And then when you click into it, you can see more information about that topic and why it suggested it. So the first one it suggests is Rapids Water Park. And this is a good keyword because we can see that the total search volume is 51,000 and the difficulty is 27%. That's great. But Rapids isn't in Fort Lauderdale. It is in uh, the county, Palm Beach County. I'm 99% sure. Yes, I did. I just double checked that and now I'm 100% sure. But uh, Content Shake AI suggesting in here makes sense because it is the closest and the biggest and the best water park near uh, Fort Lauderdale. But I personally can't use it for my website. But like I said, great keyword. And we have this information here, which again, you're not going to get this with chat GPT. You're not going to see the actual search volume, the keyword difficulty and the intent right here. What I do really like is I do really like Fort Lauderdale airport, uh, Fort Lauderdale car rental. And I also really like Fort Lauderdale beach hotels because in addition to locals, I also cater to people that are traveling tourists to visit. So all of these blog post topics might be good for any of them. So for this example, I'm going to choose Fort Lauderdale beach hotels because I mean, let's be honest, the beach is more fun than the airport, right? So after you pick one, you can go ahead and click start writing and click generate article with AI. Or you can scroll down and look at some of the title ideas for this topic. And then from here, you can click start writing and generate article with AI. 
Personally, I love the idea of a romantic getaway on the beach. So for this one, I'm going to click on start writing and then click generate article with AI. So then we get to this page where we have a little preview of our article along with our brand voice and our audience right there. And then we have a couple settings on the right we have to change before our article gets generated. So for our audience location right now, we have it as United States English. Now I can go in here and put in Fort Lauderdale if I want to, just like that. And then I can pick that. And then that's going to target people searching in Fort Lauderdale. And usually that would be what I wanted to do. But for this specific article, this is going to be more about people that are traveling to Fort Lauderdale. So I'm actually going to just put this as United States then click update suggestions then you want to take a look at your target keywords and make sure that everything here makes sense for what you want to write about all of those look good for me so i'm just going to scroll down we've got a thousand word count which is fine our brand voice is the brand voice we chose and then we can also go ahead and add an extra seo boost you get five of these every month and this makes sure your content is optimized with competitive search data that helps it rank higher. And I'm also going to click in to add relevant unsplash images. So we get some pictures created automatically for our blog post. Then I'm going to click create article. And remember, this is again going to take a little bit of time for Content Shake AI to work through the article. So we're going to go ahead and give it a couple minutes and then come back. And here we go, we have our AI blog post. Now, we definitely have to make edits here. Now, keep in mind, you should always make edits with AI. AI should always be used with human supervision, and you should use your human brain and your expertise to edit this article. Especially because AI makes mistakes all the time. Like this statue is really cool and part of Fort Lauderdale, but this isn't the beach. So we're going to want to change that and you're going to want to read through this like this again, like this is a gorgeous beach, but as somebody that lives in Fort Lauderdale, I know this is in Fort Lauderdale beach. So we're going to have to change a lot of these images and we're going to read through everything and make sure it makes sense. And we are going to edit this blog post and improve the content. So we can go ahead and go to, it actually gives us a score over here. You see how it is ranked at 57% mediocre. We want that to go higher. So we're going to click into here to go into the editor and we are going to make some changes here. So first of all, if we wanted to add more text, we could use AI in the editor. So like we could click in here and then we can go into this button right here that says ask AI. And then we can say, what other things can you do romantic on the beach besides uh, stay at a hotel? And then AI should write something that fits that prompt. And we actually got a list of a bunch of really good ideas, except realize here, put kindly note that your request may be unrelated to the content of the article. So we want to go ahead in here and edit and make that make more sense for the article. We can also use the content shake AI chat to make changes to the article. So we can go ahead and write something in here. Like, can you give me five more title options and then hit enter. And then the AI is going to come up with more title ideas. I actually like this one better. So I'm going to copy it and then come up here and then paste it here. We want to paste it as plain text so it doesn't mess up the formatting. And now let's go ahead and change out some of these images. So I'm going to click this one right here. And we already know that this is not good for Fort Lauderdale Beach. So we're going to click into replace image with unsplash one. And we are going to search unsplash for Fort Lauderdale. And this one right here is definitely a picture for Lauderdale Beach. So we can go ahead and click that in to replace it instead. And we can click in there and change the alt description if we wanted to. 
so we can have this say on Fort Lauderdale Beach and then click save and that brought us into the image section so from here you can also add in more images like let's just go ahead and get rid of this one right here and then we can let's go ahead and try an AI image so let's try romantic walk on Fort Lauderdale Beach and then click create and see what happens. This is taking a little bit of time also, but here we go. And that that works. So I'm personally not a huge fan of AI artwork at the moment, um, but if you are, then this is going to be perfect for you because that is actually a great picture of a couple walking down the beach. So after you read through this and edit it and make sure everything sounds good, you can also pop in to see your competitor data. Now, keep in mind, you never want to copy somebody else's work. You never want to plagiarize anything. But it's sometimes a good idea to look at your competitor's blog posts to make sure that you're hitting all the topics they are and doing better than them, actually. So this section is exactly where you can do that. And then after you're done checking these out, we can click into improvements. And here it's giving us some suggestions for improving the SEO, the readability, and the tone. So you can go through these and see if it makes sense to adjust your blog posts in any way here. Like for example, it wants an alt description here, which makes sense. So we'll say couple walking along the beach and then click save and now that goes away and then you can go through here and just see whatever improvements make sense for you and then when you are all done and you've read everything over and you've made sure everything sounds human you can click the publish button in the top right to publish your article and you have options where you can send it directly to google docs in case somebody has to edit it you can also share it to somebody with read only access and if you wanted to, you could also install the WordPress plugin and connect it directly to your website to publish it right from here. Personally, I would rather copy and paste everything over just because I have control issues and I wanna make sure it looks perfect, but this is also an option for you, which will make things very easy. And that's it. Now you know all about Content Shake AI and if it is the best AI blog writer tool for you. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check out my description for your free nine step roadmap to DIY your first website. It will take you through everything you need to do to get your site live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.